Good morning, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Hello, Ann, and hello, world. My name is Tom Jones, and have you ever heard of homocysteine? If you haven't, you're fixing to get the real scoop on it. So, all right. My name is Tom Jones, I'm the pharmacist, and we have live in Raleigh, North Carolina, today with Tom. And we're going to talk about an interesting subject. Probably some of you have never heard of homocysteine. And I want you to kind of raise your hand if you have never heard of it. I want you to perk your ears out if you have heard of it and really don't understand it. I'm going to give you the scoop, the lowdown, and hey, is it bad for you, or is it good? How do you get it? How do you get rid of it? And is it something to even be concerned with? Well, let's go into it. I think I have a big audience because I don't think a lot of people really understand homocysteine and what it's all about. Homocysteine is an amino acid, and it's formed by methionine being the primary culprit that it comes from it's a bad amino acid it's a cardiovascular risk for one thing high levels of homocysteine affect not only the cardiovascular system in the body but it affects also Alzheimer's it affects uh, arteries it affects everything that deals with the artery passage through the body and what happens High levels of homocysteine affect the interlining of the arteries. So therefore, as you grow older, it becomes a major, major risk factor. It's not a good thing to have. So if you have high levels of homocysteine, you want to get the levels down. How do you get rid of it? And how do you come about with a proper way of reduction of home, high homocysteine levels in the body. Number one, it needs vitamin B6, B12, and folic acid. When that is in the body, homocysteine levels go down. So that's good. So vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and folic acid reduce homocysteine levels. So here's what you want to do. You want to have your levels checked. And that's something uh, uh, that would be very beneficial to lower the homocysteine levels in the body. You first need to find out where your levels are. And it's a little controversial, but it's really, really important. So again, homocysteine is not good for the body. High levels aren't. Homocysteine can cause the damage to the inner linings of the arteries. And anytime you have inner lining of the artery damage, stroke, cardiovascular disease, congestive heart failure, all sorts of problematics for the heart occur. Another culprit of homocysteine, it, since it becomes, it comes from methionine, and methionine is high in red meats, and it's also high, yeah, that's, that's right, red meats and dairy products, they can, they allow you to build up higher levels of homocysteine. The ways that you lower it in addition to the B6, B12, and folic acid is to actually exercise. So we get, you know, exercise plays a role in just about every every single effect of the body. If you can exercise more, not only do you lose weight, but you lower the homocysteine levels. How good is that? And smoking? Big time problem. Alcohol consumption, cigarette smoking, are they build up higher levels of homocysteine. So a good lifestyle. Most of your veggies do not contain methionine or have very low levels. So vegetables are a, are a great plus for people as we age. Again, there's so many factors that go into keeping you healthy. And 
Only one of them is homocysteine levels being lowered. But you know what? When you add all these factors together, you get a healthier life if you take care of yourself. This is just one of the areas that I want to be able to educate you, our friends, our neighbors, our fellow people, that if you take charge and become your advocate for health and wellness, you win. I don't win, but you win. You win big time. So that's why we've got our different programs. Today with Tom, which is a part of Pharmacists on Fire, which is a part of the Tom Jones Network. So again, this is my little way of helping not only myself, because I'm going to learn all these items. I'm going to put it into my brain. I'm going to help you learn and become knowledgeable and be very, very good as far as teaching and educating uh, just want to say hello to Mary this morning, Mary Dunn. I want to just say hello to Regina Whitaker. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been another segment of the fantastic new show from Raleigh, North Carolina. It's called Today with Tom. And my name is Tom Jones. I'm the pharmacist, and I'm going to help. I like to consult. I like to educate. And I like to be a coach. And I'm going to coach you to be a better healthier human being. Love you and talk to you soon. And there's Ann smiling. So I, I Hi, am, I'm having a great day. It's a wonderful day here in Raleigh. And thank you so much for being again with Tom Jones, Pharmacist on Tom, Today with Tom. And like us on Facebook. Sign up for some of our programs. We're going to have those announcing soon. So take care. Bye.